We should experience the worst to appreciate the best in this world. What am I talking about? When I said we should experience both ends of the spectrum, it is about our lifestyle and possessions that we always take, take for granted. With this being said, I am talking about being grateful in life. Grateful is defined as being thankful and showing kindness. It is another way to show appreciations. We cannot truly appreciate what luxury we have until we lose them one way or another. This is the unavoidable experience. It's one of the worst experience in life that we could face. This is why we should not depend on or be mentally attached to the lifestyle that need the luxuries, object or subjects. If we are rich and have many expensive products, we will be distracted by the habits gained from these products. When the rich people lose their possessions, there are two reactions and response. These two responses are the opposite of each other. However, both are quite emotional. This is a natural response due to the unexpected loss after years of building their wealth. The main difference between these two emotions is the reaction of a smile and a sorrow. This is not the immediate actions after the conflicts of losing something or someone. Rather, it is the management actions after a period of for logical and emotional recompositions. What has been said is about their coping style. The former rich individual who end their wealth with a smile show true gratefulness. They are thankful for the amazing life that they have built for themselves. One of the reasons for this is that they start from nothing. There are definitions of the true wealthy people. There is a difference between being wealthy and being rich. All wealthy people are rich, however, not all rich people are wealthy. To identify the difference, the wealthy individual surely does not focus on the possessions or the banknote. They focus on their connections to their life and their loved one life. As mentioned before, truly rich people who start from nothing would and should never forget their past. It seems like they have nothing or however, they have everything that they need if they have a place to stay, food, eat and drink, and people who love them by their side. Of course, some people do do not have these in life and it is terrible. For these people, they should focus on obtaining these necessity first. This is an important topic to talk about. However, it is not our topic for the study. This study is about desire. The people who are not rich but have everything they need should also be grateful because there are life that are worse than them. It's okay to desire wealth and possessions. However, we should never take anything for granted. In the present moment, we should be ambitious and have desire since this is where the plan for the future comes from. However, we should be ambitious enough and desire enough. It's all about balance. When we desire richness, we desire a lifestyle that it will bring. Now, it's the individual choice to either act on it or not. If they do not act on it, they have to let it go. If not, then it will turn into resentment or regret. Thus. Not appreciating what they have until it's too late. If they act on it, they need to plan and work it out the right way. They are changing their old life for a new life of more responsibilities, dedications, and sacrifice. They have too many things on their plates, therefore many people will end up forgetting their past. If we do not look back, life forces us to move forward. If we want more in life, there will be sacrifice. With this being said, what is sacrifice for my current life, for my future potential life? First and foremost, I left my family to enlist in the United States Army. I am sacrificing almost four years of my life away from my family. I can only get to really see them for about two weeks every six months. Now, is it worth it? I would probably said yes. Ever since I joined, I have learned a lot about myself and my chosen career. My chosen career was being a mechanic soldier. I have learned a lot about this job. Compared to my military life and my life at home, it's like night and day. The military is a structured lifestyle with a lot of restrictions and requirements. When I am at my hometown, there is more freedom with zero to little restrictions. When we were young, the only restrictions were from our parents and teachers. It is up to them to enforce disciplines. However, most parents and teachers will turn the children to be kind, decent human beings. This is one of the best case scenario. 
Why is this the case? Before everything else, having a great character is one of the most important foundations in life to build a, a good connection with others. The reason is that this will lead to humility. Humility doesn't always mean that you avoid or reject your achievement or possessions. Humility is knowing that we are not dependent on those to be proud and to be satisfied. True pride and satisfactions are through reflections of our journeys in life. Therefore, we can never forget where we have started. With this being said, it makes me appreciate and be grateful for all the time I have that I escaped from to join the army. Does this mean that the military is the worst case scenario? In my situation, the military is the worst case scenario for me. The reason for this is the structure, restrictions, and responsibility for me. This might make me sound like I am a weak-minded and that I cannot handle military life. However, I do not believe that I am weak, but I do have some realizations. I realized that I have taken my old life back in home, my hometown for granted. Now I am really grateful that I have experienced both. Experiencing both lifestyle will help me become a wiser in my decisions. What does being wise really mean? Being wise is having knowledge and good judgment, both of the strategies that I will deploy in the future. With this being said, what will my future going to be like? My goal for the military is to use this as a stepping stone. This plan that I have before I join is working really well. I have learned a lot, gained a lot, and even suffered a lot. All of these help me become a stronger person and a soldier. I would not really appreciate my twins by bed when I have to sleep on the ground during the field. I would not really appreciate my grandma cooking when the food in the military is simply a lot worse. I am grateful that I can save a lot of money and have a high credit score as an active duty soldier.